the genuine article. Discussion and commentary based on articles from Jack. Hello, I'm Tony DeMaria, the editor of Jack, here with another issue of Inside Jack. And today I'm talking to Dr. Naveed Sitar, and, and Dr. Sitar is professor and chair of metabolic medicine at the University of Glasgow. And Dr. Sitar has been the senior author of a paper that we have in press that deals with the concept of risk stratification and can we improve our ability to risk stratify patients both with and without a coronary artery disease for ultimate events and can we do that using the available biomarkers that are readily uh, available to us, that is to say NT-PRO, BNP, and CRP. So uh, uh, tell us, Dr. Sitar, what, what were the findings of your study? Well, uh, in simplistic terms, we hypothesized that NT-PRO, BNP uh, may be at least as good as CRP in predicting cardiovascular events. And perhaps somewhat to our surprise, uh, NT-PRO, BNP did roughly double as well as CRP did in terms of improving prediction of cardiovascular events. So we followed up around 3,500 men in whom 600 or so had cardiovascular events. And it appears that uh, NTPO BMP allows you to reclassify appropriately around about 9% of men, whether they had existing vascular disease or not, uh, whereas CRP only reclassified somewhere between a half to 4% of men. So NTPO BMP looks a promising biomarker to enhance cardiovascular risk prediction. Now, I might have expected that in patients who already had heart disease because uh, a BNP should be a marker of left ventricular stress, but it's a bit surprising that it was also effective in patients who had not yet been diagnosed with coronary disease. What do you think is explaining that? I think that's a, a really uh, an important question. I think you've hit the nail on the head that many people in this field are surprised that the association is still there in people without existing vascular disease. And I can tell you that we're finding the same sort of patterns in other cohorts, which are still uh, uh, maturing in terms of coming to publication. But essentially, I think we're getting to the point that NT-PRO BMP, even within the considered normal range, is picking up some kind of vascular risk, whether it's subclinical ischemia without necessarily vascular stretch, or whether it's reflecting some other risk factor pathways which we are not yet familiar with. But nevertheless, even with, within those individuals without vascular disease, we are seeing a, grade, a gradation of NT-PRO BMP, which is predictive of vascular risk. So I think it's probably most likely subclinical ischemia, but I suspect there may be other mechanisms which we just haven't yet uncovered. So there's been a push here in the United States uh, to use uh, CRP to further reclassify and refine risk. Uh, your data would suggest that uh, NT-PRO BNP is perhaps better. So my question to you is, based upon this, do you think that we should now begin to use uh, uh, BNP measurements uh, regularly in the clinic to risk stratify? Uh, should we use them in preference to CRP, or are we still feeling our way along here? Uh, well, I think your last point is probably the right uh, the right sort of uh, conclusion. I think even for CRP, with there's so much more data, we're still not quite certain, and there are there is a divide across different countries in how they approach CRP. But in terms of if it was like a horse race, I would suggest to you that BMP or NT pro BMP has more going for it. But before we introduce it into practice, I would like this to be replicated in younger populations. Uh, so this this study we did was in the elderly. And we're actually doing that as part of the Emerging Risk Factor Collaboration in whom we've now measured tens of thousands of NT-PRO BMPs and we'll be able to report this perhaps in a year's time, whether on a much bigger basis, the findings that we have found are absolutely replicated across different age groups uh, and in women and in perhaps different ethnicities. And if that is the case and our findings hold up, I, that, I think therefore that there will be a push to look at NT-PRO BMP in a clinical scenario and that perhaps CRP will be pushed to the side. Well, we'll certainly await those results. Uh, clearly, we need a better way to risk stratify patients, and uh, uh, NT-PRO-BNP may be that way. Thanks very much for being with us. For Inside Jack, I'm Tony DeMaria.